the force is updated. We are now in version 1.10. Let's go down the list and check out what's new. What's up guys and gals and welcome to the Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name and the forest is the game. And in today's episode, that's right. We're going to check everything out in this update in its entirety. Starting with the late game creatures. Apparently there's two new late game creatures. There are new buildables, new caves. And in those caves are the new buildables, a new weapon type. It also says if you've completed the alternate ending, you'll also find some new decorative buildables available in your survival book. So we may have to revert back to our old save. We've also improved the game's visuals, including the large lake in the middle of the world, tweaked the look of our ambient occlusion to detail shade things further back, improved shadow distances rendering, and also improving the look of tree textures and distant billboards. Along with this, there are new volumetric clouds. It can be toggled on and off if you prefer the old looking clouds, improved underwater rendering, including new caustic effects and lots more. They've also improved multiplayer and, you know, cheating. They've removed the exploits that would allow players to simulate damage on other players or instant kills using the cheats. Okay, so they've improved a lot in the multiplayer, and we may get into that in another episode, but right off the bat, I want to see these new late game creatures. Okay, so first thing I've noticed about this update is this boat chunk sitting out on an island just west of the great tree on the very southern end of the map. And right next to it appears to be a silhouette of a boat. Let's dive in and check it out. All right, so uh, this looks like the tip of the boat. All right, we got on our rebreather. Let's go search this new wreckage and see what it has to do with the game. Now, I remember in the update video, there should be a door. And here it is. This is definitely an old-timey ship. Absolutely an old-timey ship. Okay, man. Let's go down and see what we can see. All right, now we are at the bottom. There has got to be something in here. Maybe the crossbow. Ah, <gasps> look at this. The new cave system is down here. All right. We are down in the new cave system. And we've popped out the other side. Holy shit, I'm hearing stuff. What in the hell could this be? There is the crossbow and a picture of the boat. No way. That is amazing. And it looks like new buildables. There is a page of new buildables in this cave. Holy crap. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and check our book. Big book of fun adventures. And looky here. This is insane. We have a cross. What the hell is this? This is pretty sinister. We have a coffin, a church, and a naked woman appears to be pregnant with a cross cut into her belly. That is, uh, that's insane. Let's, we gotta check this out. I, I'm extremely excited right now. Okay, so here's the crossbow. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And I'm wondering if it uses the same arrow bolts or if bolts are something new. Let's see, we've got some right here. Now this isn't necessarily a cave system. It's just like a, just a one room cave. I've got the brightness set up a bit. And I also, I think that's a new option for all you PlayStation people. Um, you can actually turn the contrast of the caves up now so that you can better navigate. And that would be, let's go ahead and check that real quick. Now I'm not sure if this is for PlayStation, but right here under display, it says caves and night brightness. So you might want to play with that. Okay, man, let's go try this bolt. All right, now, this is on hard mode. So, uh, I'm just curious to see how effective these bolts are. They look really cool. The detail on it is, uh, very good. Oh, there we go. Hey, fella. Oh, man. 
Oh, missed him. All right, here we go. Hello, sir. Money. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's a uh, it's a headshot beast. That was uh, that was very awesome. Let's try it on multiple cannibals. Okay. Hello, sir. How? Are oh shit! Feisty, feisty. The reload on it seems to be holy fucking shit. This thing is powerful. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'm almost starting to believe that this is a this is a one shot kill uh, weapon. Every single shot that has come out of this crossbow has hit them directly in the teeth, and I'm not even trying to get headshots. Let me test something. It shoots. There's there's no drop. It's like a bullet. Let's try it further distance. Yeah, yeah, this thing is uh, ridiculous. The accuracy of this thing is... I think I think this is the most accurate weapon in the game. This is some OP shit. I like it. All right, let's further test this. <laughs> Look how small that skinny is. Hello, sirs. How you doing, sir? All right, watch this. Now watch. One shot. Dead. Wasn't even trying to aim. Oh! That actually wasn't a headshot. Okay, another chest shot, I think. Oh, shit. All right, let's try that again. It, it, it's like it goes directly to the head. It, it's so powerful, dude. Yeah, okay. So, there's the crossbow. It is magnificent, and I'm sure that it will help you in your chances for survival. Okay, moving on. All right, next, let's, uh, let's check out these fucking structures. I cannot wait to see this. I want to build the church right here. Holy shit. This is crazy. All right, let's rotate it a bit. I wonder how many resources this takes. Holy crap. That's awesome. Okay, it says it takes 99 logs and five sticks. All right. There we go. <laughs> that is, uh, that is crazy. And obviously, you got to put your own steps on it. We... <laughs> I don't know, like, what this would be used for, but I I'm assuming it would be for multiplayer, if you wanted to kind of fuck around. But this is, uh, this is insane. I love what the Force creators are doing, man. Now I will read a verse from the Cannibal Bible. Thou shalt eat thy neighbor, and thou shalt eat his own toenails, <laughs> or you will go to heaven. That's not a good place. Okay, enough fucking around. Let's check out the next structure. Oh my god. Look at this cross. Let's put this cross. I kind of don't know which way is the front. I'm assuming the front is this way. It takes 34 rocks, or it takes 34 sticks and 18 rocks. And there we go. I'm wondering if we can hang shit from it. I think I built it backwards. <laughs> Let me try something. Okay, so you obviously can't crucify anything from what I'm seeing. You can't hang anything from it. Oh well. All right, let's uh, let's try the next structure. And that is a coffin. <laughs> this is crazy. Let's put the coffin right about here. It takes 11 logs and one stick. All right, there we go. Looks awesome. And it's pretty much just Aesthetics. Let's take the cannibal. Let's put him in there. There you go, sir. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. I wish you could close it, but oh well. That's that's pretty cool. So apparently there's more than one new cave. I don't have a clue where it is, so we're going to spend some time searching until we find it. Okay, so I just found out that there are three new cave entrances. We saw the one at the boat. Now, the second one, as you can see over there, are the shipping containers. There is an island about northwest that you need to go, and this one's kind of tricky to find. If you look in the water, you'll see a cave entrance. Now, as you can see right here, there is a rope and a piece of metal coming out of the water. Again, the shipping containers are right there. You want to go straight down, right here. Let's check out this new cave. Let's see where this leads. Looks like just straight up and out. Okay.
Okay, and then it looks like we've got to climb down right here. Wow, this is a very deep cave. It's like a whole shit ton of pictures on the wall. Whoa, this is nuts. And there is the blueprint for the hang glider. Let's go ahead and grab that. Awesome. That's fucking dope. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And uh, on to the third location. Okay, here we are at the third location. The yacht is just around the corner. We're at the very south end. We're on the southeast side of the map. And you're going to see one, two, three, four islands. And down in the water, you see another one of those floating metal pipes. And that is the entrance to the third cave. So let's go down. There it is. Holy shit. Look how deep this one is. Okay, so we've come up out of the water right there. And it looks like there's another hole. This hole is very big so let's uh, let's jump down in there going down to the bottom and into another hole back out holy shit what the fuck is this um okay so let's take that awesome let's go build some shit okay so here we are at the base and we've seen the church, the cross, and the coffin. We, we'll do the hang glider last. That's fucking dope as shit. What the fuck is this? This is a coaster. I'm assuming for a turtle shell. Let's, uh, let's see what this is about. Okay. <laughs> the fuck you can actually build a, uh, a fucking roller coaster. We'll, we'll build a short one. Boy, oh boy, are we going to have fun with this shit. Okay, and <laughs> hold on just a second, man. Let me check this. All right, I guess let's bust out a turtle shell, and let's uh, let's give this a whirl. <laughs> oh man, is that gonna be some fun? That's awesome, dude. See, I've honestly tried to make a roller coaster track for a turtle shell. I did it with the bridges, and it never worked out. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be dope. All right, now it's time to test the hang glider. The best way to do that is to go to the top of the mountain. Okay, so here we are on the north-facing mountain. Let's pull out our big book of fun adventures. And it takes 32 sticks, 8 ropes, 8 rabbit skins, 1 head, 2 arms, 6 bones. There we go. Let's get it built. And there it is. And, um, yeah. Let's, I don't know how to use this thing. Let's just hit E on it, maybe. Yep, I see it. E. Okay. So you wear it on your back and you can run around with it. Awesome. So what now? Well, you just jump. Holy fucking shit. Whoa. Okay. So you got to use uh, WASD to control it. Uh, you use your mouse just to look around. This is insane. Let's see if we can fly over the big stinky fucking butthole and get farted on. I think we're gonna make it. It just it just soars like a goddamn cannibal bat. This is amazing. All right. Oh man, that stinks. You can really get some distance with this thing. Holy shit. We're gonna be able to fly all the way back to our base. It's not, like, sinking or anything. It's just flying like a bird. I'm assuming that you just, whoa, dive to land. We flew all the way home. All right, let's dive. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, you just land on your feet. <laughs> that was, uh, that was cool. All right, so I've built the church. I've built the coffin. I'm going to go ahead and build the cross. And let's check in our big book. We've got, it looks like a tower, which is fucking crazy looking. Holy shit. What in the fuck is this? Okay. So, yeah, tower. And let's go ahead and put good old cross right here. Let's see what this tower costs. What does this tower cost? Okay. <laughs> 300 it's 17 logs and 22 sticks. Holy shit. Let's uh let's get it built. 
That took long even with mod API. This is crazy. All right, let's uh, let's make our way up. All right, going up. Whoa, winding up. Yeah, you don't want to fall off this bitch. I wonder if you can build on this. Maybe put like a railing system in. Wow, this is high. So I'm assuming this is for the hang glider. Yeah, <laughs> it's a diving board. I wonder if we can put a turtle roller coaster off this bitch. Oh, for the love of God, yes we can. Let's rotate that. I don't know exactly how we're going to build it from way the hell up here. We're going to have to put it in fly mode. You can get all crazy with it. Let's do that. Let's get all crazy with it. Let's get stupid with it. We're going to go all the way into the plane to good old Suzanne Summers. There we go. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's build this thing. Going up. First and foremost, let, let me let me check something out. Okay, 214 sticks. Did we already get the logs in? Yeah. Ain't no telling how many logs that was. Damn it, I should have looked. God, that is so satisfying. Look at them coming up. And there we go. Okay, we have a fucking roller coaster, bro. <laughs> Let's test it out. Turtle shell, check. Okay, starting off slow. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Oh my god, Suzanne Summers, here we come! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Yeah, you don't want to make it too windy. That fucking hurt. You definitely want to be careful. Matter of fact, let's start at this bend. Let's start right here. Alright, Suzanne Summers, here we come. Oh my god. What'd you think of that, Suzanne, huh? That was fucking dope, wasn't it? Hell, I could come down that naked right on top of you. All right, anyway. Oh, shit. I'm fucking stuck. Okay, so, uh, that's possibly the dopest thing I've ever seen in the forest. Yeah, this, uh, all this shit definitely brings a new element to the game. And I cannot wait for the new series. It's gonna be insane. So I'm gonna knock all this shit down. Well, I'll probably leave this. Let's go ahead and build our cross. I'm at least gonna knock to see what happens, uh, when we knock that down. I'm wondering if it all comes tumbling. Holy fucking shit, yeah. That's a lot of logs, bro. Holy shit. Yeah, comes crumbling down. Awesome. We're gonna check out the late game buildables. So let's bust out the big book and let's see what we got going on. Okay, there's Timmy sitting and standing and the wife. And here we have a TV, a car, and a dog. <laughs> okay, so... uh we're gonna go ahead and put this in our base. I don't know where in the hell I'd put a TV. Probably right here in front of the uh, Timmy drawings. Okay, and for this we need three logs and eight sticks. And there we go. We have a new plasma LED wooden TV. Look at the high res on that bastard. The refresh rate must be amazing. Okay, that's, that's pretty basic, pretty simple stuff. Let's go outside and let's check out this uh, this car. Let's see, where am I gonna put this car? Let's put it out here. All right, let's rotate it. There we go. It takes 121 sticks and 47 logs. Holy crap. Let's build it up. Shazam. It's got a rear view mirror and everything. I wonder if you can sit in it. You absolutely cannot sit in it. That kind of sucks. I at least wanted to sit in it and go, but you can't do that. It's pretty much just decorations, but it looks pretty cool. Let's check out this dog. I'm gonna call him Bones, cause he's got a big bones, bro. And there we go. There he is, Mr. Bones. <laughs> Please don't bite me. I have no bacon strips. All right, now, like I stated before, this, this new in-game boss, or whatever the hell you wanna call it, is not in the spawn records yet for Mod API. So I'm thinking what we can do is throw down the artifact and see what we can draw in. So let's do that. The artifact, whoa, it's a lot more responsive. All right, stab this bitch in the ground. Let's get underway. Bam! Holy shit. Look ye what I found. There it is. That's one of the bosses. What in the shit is that? 
Holy fuck, it looks like a big assortment of wieners. Let's see how this thing attacks. Let's get all these assholes out of the way first. Oh my god! Are you fucking serious? It's a goddamn wiener monster. I was in my church, you know, reading the Bible, and all I heard was a bunch of floppy dongs. Okay, oh my, oh my god! Okay, so this thing is much larger than the Megan Cross monster. And it seems to fucking destroy anything in its path. Let's see, let's test it on the church. Stepmaster. Let's go inside the church, man. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing could potentially ruin bases. And... Yeah, it seems to be doing a number on the fucking church! Yeah, it, it, it ruined the church. So, uh, yeah, if you see this thing coming, you don't want to be anywhere near your base. Let's go ahead and kill this asshole. Kill this asshole. Yeah, that thing is gnarly, dude. It's really slow. You can get away from it pretty easily. Uh, so far, I'm only seeing, like, a bird attack. Oh, oh. It turned into a million wieners again. What's it doing? Okay, I just I just hit it. I think I killed it. Yeah. I just I just killed it. I think. No, it's not dead. Oh, I think I just saw a Megan Cross monster. Yeah, it's uh it's not dead. Jesus. I saw something in the background running really fast. All right, I want to see all this thing's moves. So let's get away from it a bit, okay? And it uh, turns into a million wieners. It relocates. All right, now it should assimilate. I wanna see what it does when it assimilates the tower. Okay. This is hilarious. Oh my God. It's like a, a fuck, it doesn't have wings, but it can fly. This is awesome. So this isn't necessarily like a, a, a boss, like an in-boss. It's just a late game creature. This brings a new element to the game. And we are absolutely, <gasps> holy fucking shit. We are absolutely starting a new series. Yeah, any cannibal in its way too gets ruined. I cannot believe they actually, they put this in here for me. I know they did. They know I like wieners. So this is like this is like a fucking practical joke on me. It's a goddamn wiener monster. All right, let's let's get some distance again. Okay. Once you get some distance on it, it breaks up. You get close to it again, it assembles. Oh god, please don't knock down my trap. Please. Oh shit. Okay, it's flying again. Let's let's move the hell out of the way. Look at all the weenies. They're flying all over the place. Holy shit! Dude, this thing is really strange. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. Cool. So when it starts forming a tower, if you're close enough to it, it'll just drop on you. Okay, so uh, that's that's pretty awesome. Let's, let's kill this fucking thing. I, I don't know if you can kill this thing. I'm just gonna run through. I think you gotta kill each individual strand of it. Okay, killed it twice. That's still for me. Man, this thing's a motherfucker. Like, what do you do when this thing comes around? Okay, yeah, 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 okay. So we're killing individual strands of it. I got gotcha. you. You just gotta keep fucking whacking it. There's like no end to this thing. All right, and we're just, we're just fucking it up, you know? And there you have it. You have to kill every single individual wiener that's like the best thing that's ever happened that that was dope okay now there's only one thing left to see on the new update and that is the megan cross monster so again we'll wait around and uh we'll see if we can get one to come to us lo and behold right after the weenie monster we have a megan cross monster 
I don't know the proper name for them. We can't call them spider dicks. Uh, we're gonna have to come up with a name for these assholes. Is that Megan Cross under there? No, it's not. That is absolutely not Megan Cross under there. It looks like just a blob of shit. Okay, so it's got all the same moves as Megan Cross. Very fucking deadly. Let's see, uh, let's go ahead and kill all these cannibals. Let's see what it does to structures. Okay, it shits out a ton of babies. And I'm pretty sure that it hurts the other cannibals as well. Let's go in here and see if we're safe. Yeah, it will fuck your base. Uh, not as bad as the giant wiener monster. Oh, yeah, yep. Pretty much just as bad. You do not want to fuck with these late game bosses. Okay, so we just get... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a weenie on the ground. I don't like this shit. There's a weenie on the ground, bro. Oh, there's two weenies. They're assembling, bro. Coming back. Yeah, if you if you see wieners flopping around, dog, you might want to be a little cautious. Oh, now there's three. And they are jumping all around the artifact. Now there's four. They're multiplying. So, I'm assuming that it's an, like a cumulative thing. A cumulative, however the fuck you say that word. They accumulate. Yep. See, look at them. They're fucking. They're multiplying. That's what they do. So, if you catch this monster early, you can defeat it. You have to kill every single mu mutant pan panini, paniner, a, a weenie. So let's do that. Let's just go ahead and kill this fucking thing. Oh, man. This thing is fucking crazy. Alright, looks like we're, uh, we're doing a number on them. You don't, you don't want to let them multiply. That's so hilarious. They just, they, they multiply. They fuck each other. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Damn, look at that ass. That is a crazy big potato ass. All right, man, uh, that about wraps it up. This is probably the coolest update to ever come to the forest. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people out there that aren't impressed with it. But for me, it brings a new element to the game and gives me a reason to do another series. Well, I guess that about wraps it up. I will see you in the next one. The Zenheiser HD 58X Jubilees from Mass Drop are the best way to experience high-end audio at an affordable price. Packing the same drivers and chassis as the HD 660s, a $500 set of headphones. The HD 58X Jubilees come in at $150. It has the same solid build quality expected from high-end models, made in Ireland, lightweight, and very comfortable. These headphones will last for years out of dozens of headphones that I've used over my career. The Sennheiser HD 58X Jubilees are without a doubt the most comfortable headphones I've ever wore. But don't just take my advice. Be sure to check out the almost perfect five-star reviews down in the review section. So if you're curious to see what high-end audio sounds like for $150, click the link in the description. And now, it's time to kick a freestyle. But first, if you enjoyed the content, finger me, subscribe, and flick my ding-dong so you'll be notified when I upload a video. Help me in the battle to stay full time by becoming a member or a Patreon and join the ever-growing community that is the Mad Army. <laughs> Do you want to support but have no cash? That's easy. You can donate money for free by sampling an app at recharge.com on your mobile phone. Just click the link in the description. If you want to rep the Mad Army, check out the merch at acquired.com. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You want to talk some shit? Check me out on Twitch every weekend. All the links are down in the basement. The same place you'll be if you want to talk some shit. Hey, Normie, give me a beat. Damn. Holy shit. The forest got a big update. It's fucking lit. The weenie monster came out. I fucking dookie. Them weenies flopping everywhere, it's really kooky I don't know if I wanna start a new season Thongs flopping everywhere, major secretion 350 mile an hour headshot I guess I better stay my ass in the church Or I'll be covered in fucking if you'd snot like to make a call, Those are some big ass thongs flopping around bro help, Hang up and then dial your operator, thank you